How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Small Talk with the Big Boys on a special little Halloween episode. Spooky talk with the ghost boys. With the ghoulish boys. Ooh. Today we got something a little bit special for you. Instead of just looking at us cleaning up a bar. Yes. Bartending, we, so to speak. Yeah, bartending. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna kind of spookify this episode. And so we have we have our good producer Diego playing Amnesia, which I never played as a kid. I never played it either because I, I was too scared of it. Same. I never even like watched anything about it. This uh-uh. is this is probably the most I've seen. I was talking game. to you about yeah no I this is as far as I've ever gone. Yeah. I was talking to you about this earlier, but um, as a kid, I would uh oh by the way my voice <clears throat> oh, is yeah. gone. Yeah. So, um, there's a sickness going around that basically you don't get a sore throat, you don't get sick, nothing happens to you, you just lose your voice. It's going around my work. It's kind of really weird that there's a specific virus for that. But you probably won't be able to hear me most of the podcast because my voice cuts in and out. And that's not an audio error. That's just a human error. A human error. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, um, Nate will probably take the reins. But yeah, as I was saying, as a kid, I would never like really watch or play or do anything scary because I was just so scared of everything. Yeah. Oh, Oh, by the way, our character's name is Daniel. He has amnesia. He can't remember anything. And he's in this weird house. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the story to this game. I don't either. But I'll probably have somebody explain it in great detail. Exactly. No, that's what it was. I, I would. I was so scared of everything that I didn't want like, uh, um, uh, what's it called? I would never do or watch anything. I would just have people explain it with great detail to me. Yeah. Like everything scary. Like, like oh, and then I'd ask a bunch of questions and be like, oh, well then what and happened? Even though it would, even though I'd be scared as hell. You, you know? wanted to know. Yeah, I wanted to know, and uh, just I guess morbid curiosity. Yeah. No, I feel that. That's because that's the exact same thing I would do. Like if any of my friends. No, it's just lock it. Oh. <clears throat> If any of my friends saw uh saw a scary movie, I would be like, oh, so like what happened? <laughs> yeah, just and tell explain, me. Everything. Don't miss out any details. Was there anything like that you can remember bothering you, like really bothering you when you were a kid that was scary? Um, so when when I was little, like in elementary school, I and we were just talking over this dialogue, and it does not matter. <laughs> Y'all should be listening to us. But when I was a kid. I um I was a part of like the YMCA after school program, which is a very flawed system. Yeah, like, definitely. Because I've realized now that the counselors are just like my age now. Yeah, but like they're I, so old to us. Yeah, back then. and but yeah, but they would like run us. Like my friend Amber, it does like after school stuff like that, and I've partied with Amber before, <laughs> and I don't. That's all you gotta know. That, yeah, yeah it's like, exactly. That's all you gotta know. But one day um that's who's in charge of your kids exactly whoa i love amber though what the hell yeah i don't know what's going on but anyways one day they Mm. uh they sat my group down and the counselors were just telling us scary stories and those messed me all the way up really yeah like and or um it would be that and then um when i was like in like fourth (laughs) fourth or fifth grade that was the time that like Nightmare on Elm Street came out and fr- the remakes, the Nightmare on Elm Street remake and the oh, Friday yeah. the 13th remake came out. Yeah. And those were huge, like within my school. And so I'd be like, well, who are, who are all these people? Yeah. And then they'd explain them to me. And I'd be like, that's the scariest thing I've ever heard. Right. So, but one of these stories that like absolutely killed me, um, there was like two of them specifically. One of them was the, when a stranger calls story, mm-hmm. which if you don't know, um, Basically, this woman is babysitting for this family, and the kids are, like, already asleep and stuff, so she's just sitting alone. Yeah. And she keeps getting these calls from, like, this weird dude that she doesn't know, Mm -hmm. and he keeps, like, he's, like, really cryptic, and he keeps, like, asking weird questions like, oh, like, how are the kids? Have you checked on the kids lately? Like, oh, what are you doing right now? Oh, I can see you. And just freaking her out. Mm -hmm. And, um, And so she calls the police, and she's like, hey, this dude's really freaking me out just like calling me i don't like it can y'all send somebody and the police are like well ma'am if he hasn't threatened you we can't technically do anything like we can't arrest anybody yeah um and she was like okay and the officer um said next time he calls you if you can hold on to him for 60 seconds 
we can trace his call. And she was like, cool, sounds good. And and so he calls again and he's like, oh, have you checked on the kids? And she's able to like keep him on the phone long enough to trace the call. And so she hangs up and the police call her again and go, you need to get out of the house right now <laughs> because the calls are coming from inside the house. <sighs> and she goes to grab the kids and the kids are dead because the guy killed her. And then I think he ends up killing her too. Really? I think that's how it actually ends. Fuck. Well, I, that story sounds familiar because um, it's also in a book. The book says it a little bit different. The way they said it, which really bothered me, was that the guy would keep saying, like, every time he picked up the phone, he'd say, I'm getting closer. Ooh, no. He'd be like, oh, I'm about 10 miles away now. Mm-mm. Like, oh, I'm about five miles away now. Five minutes away. And so she called the police, like, when he kept getting closer, and she was like, he keeps saying he's getting closer. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. And then he was just in there the whole time. He didn't kill them. He didn't kill the kids. They told them the same thing. Get out of there. But, yeah, he said all that. And then he just didn't do anything. He was just a weird. I don't And like from that. the book, the little scary stories to tell in the dark. Yeah. The book, like, had him depicted because they would draw a bit, which mm-hmm. was also added to the, oh, God. Yeah, the horror of it. <coughs> yeah. And it was just this really decrepit man old looking man with a smile on his face uh-uh. just, oh, it just was horrible and i was like hate that that book was a real big 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 scary thing for me as a kid yeah because like, i would think about it as a kid and i'm like oh like there's multiple stories that i still think about from that not as scary anymore but there was a story that wasn't from the book but there's another one where it was like this girl would always um sleep on her bed and her dog would sleep next to her and to bring her comfort she would put her hand down oh and the dog would like lick it or whatever dude this is that's one of the stories that they told us at ymca go on go on dog would lick it bring her comfort and so she heard a noise and correct me if i'm wrong she heard a noise or something no this is what it was she keep she kept hearing like a drip sound yeah it was like Like a drip faucet was like on or something and that scared her because she knows she turned off the faucet, everything, you know. She kept hearing it. And um, thankfully, um, <clears throat> she put her hand down and then her dog licked her hand. She felt better. She was whatever. But she kept hearing the drip sound. And she kept hearing it so much so that it almost felt repetitive, like, like it was getting louder, you know. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I'm going to tough it out. I'm going to go see what it is. Have the dog lick her more time she went to it the bathroom or whatever and then her dog is hung by the shower head and his blood is dripping the dog that licks her hand yeah and then she goes and runs to her family her parents room and they're both dead and and yeah I and hate then it. I forget what happens next. And she doesn't die or anything, but I'm pretty sure he leaves a note or something. Yeah, but like the whole thing is like that he was the one licking her yeah, hand. The, yeah, Ugh. that's exactly what it was implied. And I was like, Ugh. Oh God, I hate it. I yeah, that was one of them that they told us. Another one, which is just the exact same one as the when a stranger calls, that really messed we messed me up, was um like again this like woman was like babysitting and um it was like an overnight thing and so the parents were like you can like sleep in our room and she was like okay cool so like she goes to sleep and everything's fine but there's just this really weird clown statue that the parents have oh i haven't heard this one yeah so her the parents just have this really weird clown statue in their room and she's like she just like is super unnerved by it and um and she just tries to like she tries to get over it and like sleep through it like she covers it up with a blanket but then when she wakes up the blanket's off and she's just super unnerved by it Mm. and so she calls um she calls the parents she's like hey can i move this statue and she they were like what statue we don't have a clown statue in our room and it's like literally the exact same thing but when i was a kid that was the scariest thing i'd ever heard Um. i hated it Man, this has just turned into us telling st- sco- stories. Just telling scary stories. Because I have another one. Yeah. Um, I'll just say it. I'll just tell the story. Um, because these are all stories that messed us up. Definitely, like bothered us to yeah. a degree that just uh, 
I told you that other one where they drew the blood and it was like, uh-huh. I'm under your bed. And the monster went under the bed and the bloods, when he woke up, said, oh, I know you're awake. But mm. yeah, that one bothered me. But this one, so a guy was checking into a hotel. And um, it just it was kind of late, but thankfully this hotel was open. And the only thing they told them was, sorry, we just had a little bit of a of a hiccup, but we're back now. <clears throat> um. Yeah, so back to what we were uh, got it figured out, but back to the story. So, um, where uh, what's it called? So he goes checks into the hotel. He says, <clears throat> the lady says, gives him one thing and one thing only to really be like worry about. He was like, uh, we have two rooms, but oh. Well, I guess we should listen to this. <laughs> mm. I don't like the effects on the screen. Yeah. And why is this dude working with Vincent Price? <laughs> mm. I, don't, I don't see where you're pointing. Yeah, right. It's writing, too. Yeah. Like, he wrote here. Here, there, and here. <laughs> um, anyways, two rooms. Yes. Two rooms are open, but they can't rent out the other one because, well, because they say that it's haunted. Yeah. So the only thing I will say um, is that whenever you pass this room, don't look into it. That's it. Just don't look through the keyhole. Just don't look into it. Um. I think it was like room 325. The guy was like in 326. Basically had to pass it, you know? Yeah. Oh, he stays the night. He doesn't look into it or whatever. Yeah. Um, he has an extended stay. And so he goes <clears throat> and just curiosity kind of kills. He's like, I got to look what's in it. I got to see it, you know? Yeah. He looks in and he just sees like a woman. Um. Just kind of standing there, face backward. Like she's not like facing him or anything. Yeah, she's standing there. He's like, okay, well, I don't know what the problem was. It's not that scary, whatever. But oh, this is Daniel again. Who has a diary these days? <laughs> but yeah, he looked and he's all right. Well, that wasn't that bad. He leaves, does his stuff, comes back. Thinks to himself, I should look again, you know? Uh. He looks again. This time, she's not there. He's like, okay, well, she's not there, whatever. I guess it is haunted. So what? This is his last day now. Um, So he's leaving the hotel room. And he's like, well, for old time's sake, I'm going to look one more time. Old time's sake. And he just sees red. He's oh. like, red. Okay, I don't know what that is, but whatever. And then he goes and he says, look, I'm sorry, but I didn't heed your warning. And I, I looked. He explains what he looked there. He explains what he looks. And he's like, oh, well, why didn't you want me to look? You know, like what? What's the, what was the problem yeah. with looking? There was just a woman. And she was saying that um, <clears throat> the description of a woman, or there was a lady who died there. And her description was just a woman, black hair, just what I saw, with bloodshot red eyes. Oh, yeah. oh I hate that. And that's the end. Basically, oh, big spoiler, she was looking at him oh. whenever he was looking into the... And yeah, and it's always stuff like that when you think no. about it and you're just like, ew. You just go, no, yeah. no, 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 it was never like anything like it's the things that like when you thought about it, you're like that would suck to experience yeah dude. like that was just always a thing for me um the other day uh harley was showing me all of these uh like ghost hunting videos on youtube that people do <laughs> yeah like apparently like these old vine stars like that's all they do now is really hunt, they, like hunt ghosts and they're like we're gonna spend the night at suicide bridge tonight it's kind of sad but okay. <laughs> but this is what they do and um and while we were watching these videos she was like looking up haunted places in uh 
I, yeah, I was in Texas. She's like looking up Texas' most haunted places. Yeah. And one of them, I think it was like the, the hos, I forgot what the hospital's called, but it's supposed to be the most haunted place in Texas. And apparently oh, one of the things that like, one of the big things is um, that some of the ghosts will like. My phone scared me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Did that call spook you? A little bit. <laughs> but one of the ghosts will like mimic what you, what you look like. So like people would Ooh. describe when they like talked about what they saw, people would describe seeing themselves or seeing somebody that they oh. knew that wasn't with them. And I was telling Harley, I was like, that would be the scariest thing to see. I don't want to see myself. Yeah, if I like if I turned around and I saw myself, I but would But it's not like like it's not me. You would probably immediately think it's a mirror. Yeah. But then you think about your reaction and it didn't move or anything. Yeah. And you didn't see your reaction, so you know it's not a mirror. It uh, that would that like that cuz I mean That would uh, kill me. Yeah. Cuz that I don't know why that just irks me cuz oh the last movie to really, because I'm I I can handle scary stuff pretty well, like horror movies and stuff, I can handle that pretty well. But the last movie to like keep me up at night was I ro- was oddly us. Really? Yeah, the Jordan Peele movie, which is weird huh. because it's not even a horror movie for most of the for like the second act, like the second and third act. Yeah. But when I was like just laying in bed thinking about like crossing paths with myself like a deranged version of myself i was like absolutely not really yeah it really irked me jeez i yeah. i noticed that when i think about everything that scared me a lot as a kid it would mostly be written stuff and i guess it's just because your mind wanders and stuff you know mm-hmm. and I, that's the only thing i could really say oh it was it was because of this it was because of that yeah i guess it was just because i just thought i was like oh like you just made it scarier than it actually was you know yeah as well as like <clears throat> creepy pastas and stuff like that. Dude, creepy pastas used to get me. Yeah, creepy pastas. My friend, because also one. the the lore behind them, like yeah, the person is never because it's just anybody can write them, and it's online, so anybody could post that. So you yeah. never, of course, they're not real, but you actually never really know. Yeah, if they're blah blah. But yeah, go ahead. What were you saying? Uh, I had a friend. I had a friend in elementary school who would like. He was a big horror dude, and he loved the creepy pastas. Like he would like listen to them all the time, and they scared the hell out of me. Like somebody saying them. Yeah, because like the guy that would the guy that he watched, um, would do like. Oh shit! All right, Diego. <laughs> Diego just figured he that puzzle very out. Happy, man. <laughs> but the guy that he would watch, uh, the videos he would do when he'd yeah. recite the story is just the voice he would use is just creepy. Do you remember by any chance who he was? Yeah, it was Mr. Creepy Pasta. Mr. And I think Creepy we, Pasta? Yeah. I think we just got a trick or treater. <laughs> but unfortunately, not neither of us That's are getting out. A, it's kind of the sweet ambience. Yeah. Ambience. That's kinda nice. It kind of spooked me a little. Yeah, honest. it did. I, I was, was like, little dark, I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> also, don't like this open room. Yeah, no. Oh, Something something that I like yeah. about like when it comes to like horror and stuff, um, is when yeah. when it's not like when the tension isn't drawn to it. Uh, when ex- stuff I kinda get it, but explain. So like um typically like with a horror movie, like the scare, it's like it's like a horror movies kind of run the same track that a comedy does. Because a comedy is just from joke to joke. Mm-hmm. And most horror movies nowadays are jump scare to jump scare. That makes sense. And it's like the lead up and all this in between stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of my favorite horror things like TV shows or movies are able to not rely on that jump scare to jump scare. Yeah. But like keep that tension throughout. Yep. Like one of my favorite scary things of all time is uh, The Haunting of Hill House. Which is on Netflix. And oh it, yeah, I never watched it because again, I'm I just don't like scary stuff sometimes. Yeah, and it's most times <laughs> soup. Like it's it's pretty it's pretty scary, and I love it. It's one of it's one of the best Netflix. Sh- it's probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. But like, if you have if you have the chance, watch it. It's so good. Really, but it does, um, mm. it does the thing that com that a good comedy does uh, that I don't what like what's going on right now. No, me neither. 
It's fine. But it's fine. anyways, um, like it does, it does like what a good comedy does, where it tells the story first, and the jokes are kind of interwoven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But with this, obviously, it tells the story first, and then horror is interwoven. But what the show does that I love is it'll put stuff in the background mm. and not address it. But like if you see it like it's really only for people that are paying attention really yeah so like what it'll do is like there's a scene um is there any jump scares in that show there's very little surprisingly okay i just don't like that i yeah. like it when it's tense and i'm scared it's, like it's more scares. it's more that there's not a whole lot of jump i think there's maybe like four jump scares in the whole like eight episode series mm. but um but what it'll do is like it'll have like a character walking throughout the house yeah. and the character will just be walking and the scene might not even be scary, but the character will just be walking and maybe like in the background or like whenever it's passing a doorway, you'll see somebody standing in the doorway. And then they just don't, they just don't, you don't, the music doesn't change. It's just, there's somebody. There. No, there's just somebody there. I hate that. Yeah. Cause there's, and I'm glad that there's somebody cause I always thought that that was scary. Yeah. Cause horror movies will do it like once. Mm-hmm. But I've always wondered, ah, there's a bunch of roaches on the, yeah. That looks like they're just on the TV. Yeah, for real, jeez. Um, anybody watching this at home is like, what the fuck? They're like, ah. <laughs> Get these roaches off my phone. Um, that was very weird. Um, the We don't need to open that door. And we did. <laughs> Immediately. Um, fuck, was it? Yeah, I've seen horror movies utilized like once, and I'm like, man. I wish people used that concept. Yeah. More. If I if I made horror movies, I would definitely use that a bunch. And the worst part the worst part about it is some like the character when the characters don't notice it. Yeah. And it's and just for just the audience and you're, and you're like, like oh. Like there's a scene in the show. It's like right in, it's one of the first scenes in the show. Um the dad is trying to get the kids out of the house. Yeah. And um and he's running he's running down the stairway to the um to the to the front door yeah and the way the stairway is set up is it's like stairs in the center and then there are two hallways next to the stairs at the bottom okay and so there are statues on each side of the each end of the stairs and so the dad is running down with the kid and you can see in the hallway someone watching them just watching them yeah not doing anything just watching them and i love it i love it so much it's so good not doing anything not doing anything and they never address it it sucks because it's like the Oh wow! Right in the head with a barrel. But are yeah, we, no, it's it's. Yeah, he's. Are we dead? Out. No, you're good. Oh, we just move. The story just moves on. Yeah, I guess you just got hurt. Wild. No Tinder swipes left. <laughs> you're out of super likes. <laughs> um. I was gonna say. Um. Yeah, no, because it's like wow, the character didn't even know that that was going on. Yeah, right. and I love it. I love it. It's eight episodes, you said? It's eight episodes, and it has one of the best twists ever. Really? Like, and it's not even like you have to watch the whole season. Like, it's it's like middle of the season. It hits you with this insane twist, and it's phenomenal. And each episode follows a different member of the family. Oh, wow. So, like, you'll have, I think the first episode is the oldest son, and then the second one is the oldest daughter, and then they just go on. Yeah. And it's insane i love it so much and they're coming out with season two next year yeah next year well i'm glad that there is an opening for a season two yeah well it's not about the family it's gonna be like an anthology it's gonna be like an american horror story thing ah yeah so kind of a non sequitur. can you remember any memorable halloween costumes that you've had um since we're on the topic of halloween i was very generic when it came to halloween costumes really? like i was I was Spider Man. I was the Red Power Ranger. Um, I was a ninja. I was a Longhorn. I was a Texas Longhorn, <laughs> and I just had like the little jersey pads and a helmet. That was kind of hilarious. That was actually my last costume. Really? That was the last time I went trick or treating. I was a Texas Longhorn. I can't remember the last time I went trick or treating. How? What would? What do you think? What do you think is? Is the age you stopped trick or treating? We talked about this. I know. Oh, on podcast. We did or? talk about it on the podcast. We did. And we said when you can't be when you're too tall to be dressed as Meowth. 
when you're below when you're above oh, yeah, five four. That we I remember now. But my serious answer is sixth grade. Sixth grade is the max. Oh, that's year. That I remember now because I um, it's just because we also talked about it after, and I was like, Diego's not in the podcast. Oh yeah, and we got Diego's we just, opinion. We got yeah yeah we got wrapped into that. I forgot about that. There are some things that we talk about after the podcast that I think are gonna be in the episodes, but then I remember I was like, wait, we weren't recording. Yeah. Like, my little ad for last week's episode. I wasn't going to say anything about it, but yeah. Yeah, my little ad for last week's episode with Ryan, I say, grab a Polar Pop. And that definitely was a joke that we had bo- after we stopped recording. Yeah, there was nothing. We never talked about the Polar Pop. We never talked about the Polar Pop. <laughs> I thought that was so funny, but I was like, he'll realize it. Yeah, <laughs> I was so bummed. Um, Kind of a spontaneous costume that I don't even know where it came from. I was just like, fuck it. Yeah. Um, one year I was an exclamation point, <laughs> just just cause I wore white, and then I made the cardboard to help with the help from my mom, and I was just an exclamation point. I think I was going to a party. It was very yeah. big. It was very hard to make. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. <coughs> um, I'm actually going to a little Halloween get together tonight, and Ooh. I didn't know about it until last night. Mm-hmm. And my friend was like, "You need to have like you better have a costume." like don't like don't show up without one. Oh my gosh and i and i mean one don't have any money to put to, to put together a costume yep. and so um i was like thinking tonight oh, this morning i was like what am i gonna do what am i gonna do and so i'm going as mr rogers which when you think about mr rogers uh, is basically how i dress every day yeah you're just gonna be wearing the same exact thing you're wearing right now all you yeah all i'm gonna do is button up this sweater and put a tie on that's all I'm going to do and be wow. like, oh, I'm Mr. Rogers. I kind of did that today because everybody at my work was dressing up and I was like, can't be the only one who's not dressed Obviously. up, you know? Yeah. Um. So I was like, all right, I have these Nike for another trick or treater. If these trick or treaters. And um, <laughs> we'll put a sign outside. Recording. Recording in progress. <laughs> On air. <laughs> oh my gosh. One time I was trick or treating as a kid and then some chumps just like crapped on the trick-or-treaters with the sign it was like we don't celebrate that devil hall it was just oh so, my god yeah it was like some really mean thing. i was like yo yo we don't celebrate that devil holiday man they were passing out bibles things okay this the thing with scary things is that they always linger and I, I haven't had something scary linger with me for a while but i can feel myself on the drive back i'm gonna be bothered yeah because like I know that like we would find that like it doesn't pick up till later, but like it's the um the setting of this game is so like it's yeah it's not I really fun. Fuck, I really hate it. Like it, I, I couldn't hate it. I don't know how Diego was playing it, but uh, and it's I, dark in here. There's a reason I never played it or watched anybody play it because I just yeah yeah, and it's dark in the room. It's just setting us up, and I'm like Eesh. yeah, but um. About this Halloween party I'm going to, oh, yes. I'm I'm upset that he was like he was like you have to have a costume like you can't like trick or treater I swear I'm gonna <laughs> you have to trick or treat you have to trick or treat but he was like you have to have a costume and you know what this dude this dude called me yesterday and I was like hey man where are you and he was like oh he's a firefighter and he was like oh I'm leaving the fire station and I was like cool um he was like yeah I had to get my costume for tomorrow night and I was like what are you gonna do and Just he was like minder bro he was like I'm gonna be a firefighter. Come on. Yeah, man. he was like, I'm going to be a firefighter. And I was like, dude, don't you You're think that's a, be your occupation, bro? Yeah, I was like, don't you think that's a little bit of a cop out? And he was like, well, I've never been a firefighter before. <laughs> and I was like, cool. It's not that you just, you know, live and breathe it. Yeah, it's not like you were one today yeah. when you went to the station. So I'm so you know what I might do? I might just go put regular clothes on and be like, oh, I'm a stand up comedian. <laughs> I'm an actor. I'm an actor. Yeah, yeah that's what something. my Halloween costume is. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to say mine. I was I was wearing my Cortezes and I just went as far as gum because I have the same Cortezes. <laughs> and you just had the Cortezes on. You didn't put, <laughs> you didn't put the shirt or the. No, this is exactly the thing he was wearing when he got the Cortezes. Nobody got the reference, and I was like, "Well, I don't care." You you walked in, you walked in, and I was like, "This has to be a costume." <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't could, dress this, like this. Yeah, I couldn't decide whether or not you were in a costume, and I was like has to be a costume i don't wear button-ups or no. anymore or anything like that that's my brand it's your brand i'm going as nate for halloween i'm going as juan for halloween you dressed as like a clown <laughs> <laughs> i'm dressed as a soundcloud rapper <laughs> i don't dress like a soundcloud rapper dude don't ever say that again <laughs> <laughs> you're being really mean you're being so mean are you gonna joaquin phoenix me right now 
You gonna pull a Joaquin on Kimmel? Uh, those interviews were so dude. Those were bad. So tough. If you get the chance, dude. watch Joaquin Phoenix on Fallon and Kimmel. <sighs> it's you, basically the same interview. It's it just is. like a long it interview. Really basically, is. is what it felt like. And you know he did that in the same day because he wears the exact same oh, outfit. Oh Jesus! Whoa, I didn't see. It. Oh no, nope. Let's not do that. I don't like the lighting changed. He go lied to us. Yeah, it's Jeez, thirty minutes. He set us up. It's thirty minutes, and he was like, "Bro, this doesn't come in for like another hour." He doesn't sound like that. Come on, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. He sounds much more handsome. Like that, handsome that, Squidward. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Diego. Diego is handsome Squidward. True. Jesus. Okay. Um. Okay. That took me out of whatever we were talking about. <laughs> this whole episode has led up to that thing to just that being just... shown. Ah. Ah. Dude, my Apple Watch is gonna be like, hey. Hey, your you're gonna have a heart attack. Faster. Yeah. Because I was literally just watching. Because at this point, it's just become like something background to watch. Yeah. You know, like when Diego has the Wii U and stuff on. Yeah. But because I was like, okay, I'm gonna force myself to watch it so I can be in the scary mood. But I just got used to just watching the puzzles and stuff. So I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, you were like, this is fine. And then I just like. <laughs> you're like, absolutely it, not. Oh my God, it's an actual scary thing. Ooh, ooh. It's like the haunting of Hill House. Dude, maybe we'll do a commentary track where we watch it. Dang it, I just think I dropped something very important. You'll do a commentary on the Netflix original. On the Netflix original. down so quick. Dude, I want to know if our Chinese episode got taken down. (laughs) That's what I was thinking about the other day. It got demonetized. We're making a solid three cents. On our videos, and they took all three cents. We'll give Jack and Diego two cents this week. How is Diego supposed to pay for that potion that he needs? He can't. He can't. Because we got demonetized because of the Chinese episode. We, Isn't we, it crazy that anything that's like related to China just gets, just, just oh, gets just gets like banned? Well, just isn't it like banned. even like just Winnie the Pooh gets banned? <laughs> yeah, it's like that picture of Vladimir Putin with the clown. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can't you can't post that anywhere, in Russia at least, or you get. I'm pretty sure you die. They say you go to jail or they take you really? down or whatever. I'm pretty sure if you just straight up kill you, why not? They just you just die. I feel like Vladimir has such a weird presence because like he doesn't look like what he does, you know? Yeah. Like how he's like a ruthless leader who you should be scared of. Mm-hmm. He kind of just doesn't look like that. Yeah. And it's just because they're good at hiding it, of course, every bad thing that he does. But he just looks like a guy. Dude, what do you <laughs> what do you think of the? Did you see the YG the video of the YG concert? No. So. YG like invited this this kid up on stage at one of his concerts and um <laughs> nice and he was like he was like say something he told him to say something about Trump that like wasn't good he made him say something he like asked him to and like and I don't know I don't remember what it was but it was like something it was something like bad or something he was like he was like say this and the kid went no he was like I don't want to yeah, that's weird. And, and he was like, he was like, oh, we got a Trump supporter out here, and kicked him off stage, and like they took him backstage. Oh, that doesn't even mean that he's like a Trump supporter. He's just uncomfortable and put on the spot, you know. Dude, I and like kind of like a lot of people, YG has been getting like a good amount of backlash for it because they were like, bro, he spent money, he spent money to be at that show, and you just kind of made him uncomfortable. Yeah, and then and also then, he met YG, the guy he went to go see. Yeah. And then, he what? What if he's not even? You know what I mean? What if he's not even a Trump supporter? It's yeah, and I'm definitely not a Trump supporter, but Same. it's just like you don't put, you don't say that type. Of, that's not the right context. That's the you know, like you don't push your views no matter what they are on anybody. Yeah, you know, because that kid was just there to see YG. That's all he wanted to do was he see his he favorite there rapper to do political commentary. Yeah, jeez, that's that's really messed up. I didn't know that. Yeah kind of bum me out but guys unfortunately i think that is where we're going to end today's <laughs> spooky spooky Halloween episode video. of the podcast we had some we had a we had a decent amount of fun i'm a little like on edge because of those stories we were telling yeah because it kind of brought back a lot of old memories. yeah i, I didn't like that oh my gosh we're ending on him getting blooded why is he getting blooded i don't know but anyways but guys thank you so much for listening share yes. this wherever you can hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment Tell us what you want us to do, and we'll probably do it because we are at your will. (laughs) 
So, guys, have a safe Halloween. Or I hope you did have a safe Halloween because this is coming out on Monday. If you didn't, well, hope you're if good. You I wish you a speedy recovery. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye.